Hello, my dear students, I'm back with you. In this occasion, I'm gonna help you practice grammar. Okay, the grammar section. Okay, you must remember that we have been practicing the simple past. So the simple past in this um, situation, we're gonna practice it using question words, palabras interrogativas, question words. What, where, when, how, why, etc. We're going to use the question words with the past simple, okay? So open your wonderful world book to page 92. Open it up to wonderful, your wonderful world book to page 92. Then we're going to use the Herbert book, but later, right now, your wonderful world book, okay? So um, we're going to do the exercise number two. This is exercise number two that we're going to be doing. You have it in your book. But before the exercise, I'm going to give you a brief explanation, brief explanation, explicación corta, brief explanation about questions with question words in simple past. Okay, this is the formula. Question word, auxiliary, subject, verb, rest, and answer. So the question word is what, when, where, why, how, who, etc. The auxiliary in this case is did. Did is for simple past, okay? The subject, you, she, they, we, I, etc. And the verb is in present, remember. It's very important for you to remember the verb in present in simple past, okay? Why? Because in simple past, we're using did. Did indicates the simple past of the verb. So the verb is in present, okay? And then the rest. Okay, let's take a look at the question. What did you play yesterday evening? ¿Qué jugaste ayer en la noche? I played computer games. Now, in this situation, the verb is in simple past because it's affirmative. For the affirmative form, we use the verb in simple past, okay? Only for the affirmative form. Okay, for the interrogative form, we have to use did and the verb in present. So in this case is, when did she meet her boyfriend? Cuando ella conoció a su novio? She met him yesterday. Ella lo conoció ayer. She met him yesterday. Can you imagine? Okay. Now, where, the next question, where did they go after the match? ¿A dónde ellos fueron después del encuentro? Where did they go after the match? Okay, they went to a cafe. All right, so this is very important for you to remember the formula. Okie dokie. So now let's continue with the exercise, okay? The instructions, circle the correct words. So we're gonna be circling the correct words. We're gonna be using a circle, okay? Now, what is the first example? Okay, number one, you have the example on your book. The example is where they shot or did they shoot the film? We have two options. So according to the formula, we have the question word, where, and then is the auxiliary did. So in this situation, we have right here did, and then the subject, and then the very present. So the correct option right here, is this one. Where did they shoot the film, okay? Where did they shoot the film? So right there we have the, the example, all right? Okay, number two. Whose story the children enjoyed or did the children enjoy? According to the formula, we have the question word, then the auxiliary D, then the subject and then the very present. So right here, we have the correct option. All right, that's the correct option, okay? All right, let's continue. Number three, what do you think is number three? How you found or how did you find tickets to the new musical? Well, we have the question word, then we have the auxiliary D, then the subject and then the verb. So right here, we have the answer. How did you find tickets to the new musical? Okay, number four. Now, in number four, you have to remember number four, it's an exception. 
uh, because we don't have a subject for number four. How do we know that we don't have a subject? No tenemos un sujeto. We are asking for the subject. Estamos preguntando por el sujeto. So we're not gonna use did. So in this case, who did they think the adventure film was exciting? It's incorrect because we don't have the subject. We are asking for the subject. So in this situation, the correct answer is thought. Okay? So that's the correct answer, all right? Who thought the adventure film was exciting? ¿Quién pensó que la película de aventura fue emocionante? All right, number five. Let's continue with number five. We go back to the normal formula. When she started or did she start acting? Okay, we have the question word. We have the question word and then we have did, the subject and the verb. So this is the correct option. When did she start? Acting. Okay, so right here we have the correct answer. All right, now number six. Let's continue with number six. Whose bike rode Jane or did Jane ride? Well, we have the question word, then the auxiliary did, then the subject, and then the verb. So the correct answer is this one. Whose bike did Jane ride? Okay. So let's go with number seven. Why he ate or why did he eat your sandwich? We have the question word, then the auxiliary did, the subject and the verb. So right here we have the correct answer. Why did he eat your sandwich? Okay. And number eight, okay. Remember for number eight, we have the same situation that number four, who? Who? Okay, so we don't have the subject. We are asking for the subject if we are asking for who. But there is one situation that you have to remember. Who in the beginning and with in the end. Who with es con quien. So we have the subject. So in this case is who did you see the play with, okay? Now let's compare number eight with number four. In number eight, we have who and we. Number four, we have who, but we don't have we. So in this case for number four, we don't have a subject. We're asking for the subject, okay? So this is why we use thought. We cannot use the because we don't have a subject, okay? But number eight, we have a subject uh, uh, because we have who and we. So it's who did you see the play with, okay? ¿Con quién viste la obra de teatro? Hokey dokey. So number one. Where did they shoot the film? ¿Dónde vieron ellos la película? Number two. For number two is whose story did the children enjoy? Um, de, de, quién era, ¿De quién era la historia que los niños disfrutaron? Whose story? De quién historia o de, de quién era la historia? Vaya, all right? Number three, how did you find tickets to the new musical? ¿Cómo encontraste boletos para el nuevo musical? Number four, who thought the adventure film was exciting? ¿Quién pensó, quién pensó que la película de aventura fue emocionante? Number five, when did she start acting? Cuando ella empezó a actuar. And number six, whose bike did Jane ride? De quién era la bici que Jane montó? Number seven, why did he eat your sandwich? Por qué él se comió tu sandwich? And number eight, who did you see the play with? Con quién viste la obra de teatro? Okay, so this is all for the wonderful world book, page 92. Exercise two. Now let's go to your hair bar book. Remember your hair bar book on page 22? Open up your hair bar book on page 22. Okay. In your hair bar book on page 22, we're gonna continue practicing the simple past, okay? I'm gonna take you to that page, all right? So right here. 
We have a grammar quiz, WH questions, past simple. The instructions complete the 16 sentences below, okay? So number one, what do you think is number one? All right. We have right here, number one. All right, right here, number one. I'm gonna put the circle a little bit smaller. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna put the circle over here. And I'm gonna use this circle. Okay, so number one, what, where, or who did you do yesterday? So number one is what? All right, this one, what? Okay, so number one is what? What did you do yesterday? Okay, I think I'm gonna use also the red color. Okay, I think it's gonna be better. Okay, so number one is what? What did you do yesterday? I went shopping. ¿Qué hiciste ayer? Fui de compras. Number two, who, where, or how did you get to San Francisco? Okay, so number two is how. How did you get to San Francisco? ¿Cómo llegaste a San Francisco? We traveled by bus. Viajamos por autobús. Number three, why, what, or how? All were you last year? So number three is how old. ¿Qué tan viejo eras el año pasado? I was 23. Tenía 23. Number four, what, where, or who was that noise? Okay, what, number four is what. What was that noise? ¿Qué fue ese ruido? It was just the wind. Okay, solo fue el viento. Number five, where, what, or when were they? They were at the library. So number five is where. Where were they? ¿Dónde estaban ellos? They were at the library. Estaban en la biblioteca. Number six. How, what, or when did you have lunch? We had lunch at noon. So it's when. Number six is when. Okay? When did you have lunch? ¿Cuándo almorzaron? We had lunch at noon. Almorzamos al mediodía. Okay? So, number seven. What, who, or why? Okay, number seven is who was your teacher? Who was your teacher? ¿Quién era tu maestro? Miss Jones was my teacher. Miss Jones era mi maestro. In this case, my maestra. All right. So let's go to number eight. All right. Let's go to number eight. I'm going to erase all the other ones. Okay. Right here. Right here right here and right there okay and now we're gonna do number eight okay right there so is when why or who were you late i missed the bus so it's why, why were you late? ¿Por qué llegaste tarde? Why were you late? I missed the bus. Perdí el autobús. Okay. So now, let's go to number nine. What, who, or how ate the cake? Who, who ate the cake? ¿Quién se comió el pastel? A steward ate it. Stewart se lo comió. Okay, number 10. Where, who, or why was that on the phone? 
So it's who, who, quien. Who was that on the phone? Quien era en el teléfono? It was Steven. Era Steven. Okay, number 11. What, when, or who did she say? So it's what. What did she say? ¿Qué dijo ella? She said goodbye. Ella dijo adiós. What did she say? She said goodbye. Okay, number 12. What, when, or who did they graduate? They graduated in 2014. So the answer is when. When did they graduate? When did they graduate? They graduated in 2014. Sorry, 2014. Yeah, 2014. Okay. Se graduaron en 2014. ¿Cuándo se graduaron? When did they graduate? They graduated in 2014. Se graduaron en 2014. All right, number 13. How, when, or what time did you go to bed? I went to bed at 11 o'clock. So it's what time? What time did you go to bed? I went to bed at 11 o'clock. What time did you go to bed? ¿A qué hora te fuiste a la cama? I went to bed at 11 o'clock. Me fui a la cama a las 11 en punto. Number 14, why, who, or where did he see a doctor? He hurt his hand. So it's why, why did he see a doctor? ¿Por qué vio él un doctor? He hurt his hand, se lastimó su mano. All right, number 15. Where, why, how were your bags? They were on the train. How were your bags? No, it's where, 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 where. Where were your bags? ¿Dónde estaban tus maletas? They were on the train. Estaban en el tren. And number 16. How, who, or where? So in this case is... According to the answer, it was great. It's how was the movie? ¿Cómo estuvo la película? It was great. Estuvo grandiosa. How was the movie? It was great. Okay, so this is the quiz, the grammar quiz, okay? for you to practice. All right, the question words. Now, your homework. Okay, you have to do your homework on page 64 of your hair bar book, okay? In your hair bar book right here, you have to order the words and you have to write them in the correct form. Number two, number two. Remember, across, horizontal. Down, vertical. Okay, so you have to order the words, the spelling words, and you have to write them in the correct space. And this is all, my dear students. I hope you practice very hard, remember. Champions require concentration, effort, and obedience. Until the next time.